That... that's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the redstone heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? After you. All right, time to go home. Yes, please. I can't believe we're finally this close. Ah, <sighs> feels like just yesterday we were building this place. Still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices. Oh, you just love being mysterious, don't you? Is that like your favorite thing? What? I don't know what you're talking about. I just try not to think about this place very often. Kind of thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. Oh, I'm sensing a story here. You don't sound super happy about being back. What's up? Yeah, I think you'll figure it out once you meet the others. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. My goodness. Hey, I'm just glad you're on our side. Old builder or not, you've been pretty cool. Well, thank you, Jesse. I hope I can keep living up to that. Well, you're gonna give us the Atlas and then we can go home, right? Kind of? The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? I'm sure we can figure something out, make a deal with them, right? Oh yeah, they love making deals. You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? Yeah, I do. She saved our lives, Lucas. Only after she put them in danger. If I remember correctly, we saved her just about as much as she saved us. Don't worry, okay? We're gonna get that atlas and get home. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jesse. Sorry. I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise I'm trying to help, Lucas. You just gotta go through there. A, a door? Like a regular door? Time to step through and find out. I see a thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die! What? Oh. Ah! Hey, hey, hey! 
Hey, whoa! This is a misunderstanding, dude. What are you doing? Hey! Using weapons is against the rules! Rules? Not cool, dude. So not cool. Ah! Oh! Slab is down. I repeat, slab is down. Stop the match! Not since the days of Tim have we seen such heated play. That's totally against the rules, right? Yeah. I didn't think we could throw TNT back at the gladiators. Nice one, bro. Who do you think you are? Ah! Did you know? Stop! I can tell you dudes are all angry, and I totally feel that, but I promise I do not make the rules here. That's them. Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. It definitely is strange, Mevia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately. This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. Well? Well, I hope those fancy clothes don't stain, because I'm going to make you pay for what you did to my friends. Well, this is interesting. Ugh, lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, I've got a game we could play. <laughs> oh. I'd love to see you try that short stack. That won't be necessary. Your friends aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> that would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <gasps> <clears throat> Your friends are alive and well. It's just a game. Let my friends go. Sorry, sport, but they were eliminated. <laughs> Them's the rules. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <clears throat> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! Oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. Stairs. Lots of them. Are you being a Weisenheimer with me? Is that really what's going on? Wow. Say, so can we get someone to kill this little moron for me, please? A few dozen times? <laughs> Easy, Hadrian. Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, champ, why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? We came for the Atlas. I want you to hand it over so my friends and I can go home. Straight into the point. Well, I'd like it. If I weren't simmering with barely controlled rage right now! Hmm. We're, of course, not going to do any of those things, but... Admirable try. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. Because I have something you want. Oh? <laughs> you must be joking, Hadrian. Joking. Oh, jokes! Ha <laughs> ha! Hilarious! Nope, not joking. I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Oh, send them to the mines. They're. How about a white pumpkin? Oh, wow. I haven't seen one of those since Cassie left. Oh, don't say that name. She still gives me nightmares. <laughs> Is that who you got that from? I don't know what she told you, but those things aren't exactly valuable. They don't deserve to be here, Hadrian. How about this flint and steel? We have castles filled with chests, which are filled with flints and steels. Oh, how embarrassing. It's interesting. I think they could bring some excitement. Yes, well... 
I see your point. They haven't been eliminated. Therefore, they could still be... Out! I want them out! <laughs> I'd be delighted to have them in the mines. What about this? Huh? <gasps> I present... The Redstone Heart! Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off with that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It can be, uh, pretty dangerous if you don't know how to use it. Oh, I've got you interested now, don't I? You've certainly got my attention, yeah. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart. You and your friends go back down to those portals. I never look at your insignificant face again. Wait, without the Atlas? But how will we get home? So, not my problem. This is a one-time offer. You've caught me in a forgiving mood. I don't play that way, Hadrian. If I can't have the Atlas, you can't have the Redstone Heart. Come on, gang, let's get out of here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm sure we could reach an agreement that suits everyone. Well, kiddo, I admit, you do drive a hard bargain. <laughs> I'm sure I can think of something fair for the both of us. Well, you need the Atlas. And I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games. If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me, everyone enjoys these games. Can't wait to see what the other games are. I hope they're fun. Well, there you have it. A deal's been struck, huh? To the games! All right, then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official oh, addendum. Enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, gravel. Harper. Want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh! He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. Harper, how bad is this gonna be? Give it to me straight. It's not gonna be a cakewalk, that's for sure. Hadrian has people play the games now just for his own amusement. Yeah, he seemed like a real treat. Uh, I'm s I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. We used to have competitors from all over travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, here it is, the competitor village, sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. Wait, are all of these people competitors? Yep, at least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. They're just stuck here, unable to leave. Wow, that's just horrible. I know. Mm. Ah. Ah. They didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And what if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games. But it might take a while. I'm gonna go confer with Otto. We go way back, and well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Wait, we still haven't found Lucas or Ivor. 
Uh, I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines, which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Nuh -uh, no way. They do not get to put my friends in their stupid minds. Yeah, we gotta bust them out of there. Hadrian always was one for maximizing useful uh, um, productivity. See what you can do here. I'm gonna try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. We gotta get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll go ask some of the other competitors. Impressive. Hey, that's Lucas's journal. You say something, Tiny? Because I'm trying to read here. Hey, where'd you get that book you're reading? Oh, this? Fished it out some respawn's inventory after he... He's <sighs> got some tales of adventure, feelings, and other dumb stuff. Hey, wait a minute! You're the pipsqueak that knocked me out of my tower. Yeah, and this belonged to that little blonde buddy of yours. And let me guess, you want this back? Because I'm actually enjoying myself. There are some fascinating and thrilling tales in here. Hey, don't get too steam. Maybe we can make a deal? And slab the immovable. Oh, we can make a deal. If you do everything I say, when I say it, and don't make me mad again, maybe. I'll consider giving you this stupid book back. Aha, mm. uh -huh. there's our nether portal. Um, hello? Don't you hello, face meat! Wait a minute, you're the cheater that blew up my friend, Slam! And face meat doesn't rock cheaters. Don't stand around breathing a ball of face meat air. Face meat prefers dweeb free air. Do you know where my friends are? In the mines! Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on face meat's watch. That doesn't mean just stand there, staring at face meat. Please, what can I do to get them out? Well, now that you mention it, face meat was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunch time. You see? So face meat's hungry. Do something about that, and face meat will think about getting your friends out. Like amazing. I am now, and I am so super sorry about your friend. I get your prods upset, especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> it, um, well, it wasn't very chill. Speaking of my friends, have you seen them lately? Nope, sorry. They're like probably in the mines, and that's on me. <laughs> Such bad karma. Bad karma. I will never do that to one of your friends again, because, man, I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that, and you'll be like, Tim status. Tim who? Tim! Like the legend of Tim Tim, on the signs. Like, one, okay? Like, you could. People could, like, already be talking. They're gonna, like, say stuff. Compare you to Tim. That's right. I'm gonna win the games too. No doubt. No doubt. Okay, don't like tell anyone, but I would rather be on your team. Green team captain is like, pfft, she is so not chill. Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you. So if you ever need anything, you just come and ask. Shall? No, I mean, seriously. I mean, anything at all. 
Well, actually, I'm trying to bribe that guard. Face me. And he's hungry. Well, um, if I had some wheat, I would totally give you some. Sadly, I don't have a secret stash. And if you didn't ask, I wouldn't loan you some. Wink. Come on, quit before anybody sees us. That should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, brah. It'll grow back. Just, uh, leave the seeds, yeah? One. Planting as I go. And that's another. <laughs> Sweet! And that should all grow back soon. Nice! Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. Yeah, that means bread. Hopefully bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. And I guess I'll just have to make my own. Where can I get some wood planks? Hey, I remember a bunch of, like, wood planks by the dojo. I think they train by, like, punching them or whatever, you know? Thank you, Nell. Hey, no prob. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? Uh, hey. You're the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Then I guess we're even. Oh, no way we're even. You still have a good teammate left. And you still have all your fancy gear. I'm stuck with two blockheads now. Next round. If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will. <sighs> you haven't been here long? So you wouldn't know. But the gladiators are trained for everything. And they are completely under Hadrian's control. Good luck, Em. I know that the best person will win. Seriously? You know you're looking at the best person. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. Have you ever won the games? Yeah, I won, but... I decided to give up the prize of going home to stay in this awesome place longer. Of course I haven't won. Yeah, well, good luck with getting home. Wooden plank solid. table aha that's some fine crafting let's make some food boom bread now I should be able to get my friends back Um, hello? Hey, face me. Got some bread for you. Bread, huh? Hmm. It's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mm, it's so warm. Oh, and full of carbs. Please get my friends. <laughs> face meat appreciates the politeness. Hang on. Hey, Petra. Hey, glad to see you already figured out the whole nether portal thing. Lucas and Ivor should be right out. One of those huge guys is getting them for me. Nice, nice. 
seems like we keep ending up in situations. First with Palma, now with that stupid sploof game. Well, what I'm trying to say is, thanks. You know, don't make this awkward. It was just on my mind, and... Hey, of course I saved you, okay? You're one of my best friends. Well, I just hope Ivor isn't too jealous. I'm glad you're with me in this, Petra. Me too. Here! Oh! Quick response! Jesse, man, is it good to see you. You too, Lucas. And Ivor. Uh, what are you wearing? Right. Shut up! My outfit breathes wonderfully. Anyway, how's it been going out here? You, uh, you don't have our stuff by any chance, do you? He's worried about his diary! I'm working on that. It's tricky, though. Well, don't beat around the bush. What has Harper gotten us wrapped up in? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. As long as we stick together, it's gonna be fine. We'll either get the atlas and go home, or we'll be stuck in the nether together, forever. That is not reassuring, Jesse. Hey, Jesse, I need to talk. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just uh, stare at you while you mine. Lucas, we need the atlas to get home. I know. Apparently this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Yeah, it's super fishy. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. So you're the one who's supposed to help us? Well, I'll enforce the rules at any rate. If that helps you, then uh, can't be games without rules. <laughs> Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep, a real Tim. Really interesting, you being here. Tim, please. I could do anything he can do better. Well, you might just be right about that, Jesse. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway, dorms are over there. You got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Ah, oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. I wonder what the next event will be. Hopefully nothing too deadly. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't take you seriously looking like that. It breathes. Wonderfully! Hello, competitors, and welcome to the next day of the games. And it's gonna be a hot one. Woo! Yes, it is, Adrian. And how are our teams looking, Otto? Well, Mevia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in Spleet, I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and of course, about our plucky newcomers. Otto, shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. <laughs> Wonder how this is gonna go. I can't believe how much they love this Tim guy. What's up with that? No idea. Definitely weird, though. All right, competitors, the next event is almost upon us. Time to head to the starting line. Starting line, huh? A race. We've totally got this. <laughs> got this, huh? 
Boom! Surprise locker room visit! Ha! How we doing, everybody? It's Hadrian! And here are the newcomers that everyone's been talking about since their <laughs> explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ, what's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. Winning. Ooh, in the zone, huh? That's excellent. That's just excellent. Hope you managed to hang on to that optimism when the heat's on out there. I admire your confidence, Jesse, but I must ask, what makes you think you can win when so many others have failed? Huh? Do you really think you're special? The thing about me and my team, Hadrian, no matter the challenge, we always find a way. Oh, really? Because it seems like two members of your team have already been eliminated. Yeah, and there's two left. More than enough to win this. Yes. Perhaps we should just get on with this. <laughs> what a lovely day for a game. Jesse, good luck out there. I'm sure you'll be great, but... Uh, well, everyone could always use a little dose of luck, right? Oh, Em, glad to see my charms finally wore you down. Well, I was thinking about how you handled Spleef, and then you made that deal with the old builders, and... I thought, an enemy of my enemy is my friend. Whoa, that means M wants to be, like, friends with you, Jesse. What? M might be up to something. So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. And you could use my help. <sighs> Come on, Jesse, I'm trying to help you out here. Like a mutual agreement. How can I trust you? You can trust me. Or you can take a slab to the face. <laughs> you got a point. In the middle of the race is a part with tons of gladiators. That's when we should all team up. Defeat them, then race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. I mean, that's okay too. I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm gonna stick with my team, and you should stick with yours. Fine. I'll do that. Competitors! To the starting line! See you at Gladiator Junction. We don't need them. They'll just hold us back. I'm ready for this! Those gladiators are going down! Hint! It's gonna involve a lot of punching. Give them all you got, Petra. I've been waiting all day for you to say that. It is a total bummer that we are not going to be able to, you know, work together. Sorry you're going to lose now. I still think you're awesome, though. Competitors, on your mark! Get set. Go! Did it. This has been pretty tough. Can't wait to see what else they throw at us. This is gonna be easy. That's what you think. Huh? Out of the way, chumps!
Okay, sounds like this is Gladiator Junction, but where are the gladiators? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they? You're mine. I've been dreaming about this since sleep. Wow, your memory goes back that far. <laughs> Fire away. Bye, Squishy. What? Jesse, got your back. Go. Sorry, Nell. I'm winning this thing. Hey! Whoa, whoa, Jesse! Way to catch up, dude. Very nice. You just can't take a hit, can you? Get huh? dunked on! Whoa! Slacker! Hey, whoa! No! Oh, come on! Yeah, don't mention it. This race is almost over, and we will soon have a winner. And I think I know who it might be. I am the winner of the lava race, the gladiator formerly known as Emily. I trust you made good on our deal. I did. If that's true, then why hasn't Jesse respond yet? Jesse. And there appears to be a confrontation on the field. Jesse looks very heated. I'm glad I didn't make a deal with you. Good for you. Okay, Jesse even saved someone from a different team. Like me. So you sacrificed winning the race to save someone else. Good to know. And you. You were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? No, please. You probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. 
hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. No, I get it, Em. I might have even done the same thing in your position. Well, I'm glad that you get it wasn't personal, at any rate. I... I gotta go. Okay, respawning is the worst. You! Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on. I don't have all day. I'm warning you, Jesse. Okay, if they want to see me, let's go. Uh, really? Well, that was unexpected. No, just Jesse. <sighs> Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the palace. <sighs> okay, well, be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. Hmm. Hey, psst. I need to talk to you. Keep up. Come on. Come here. It'll be quick. Jesse, you gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse. Yeah, over here. I'm coming. Good. I appreciate you being considerate. My job's on the line here, too, you know. I hope Hadrian's in a good mood. I hate being sent out on dumb errands. Hey, Slab, do you even like this job? You know... It's got its benefits. I get to beat up people, and most people are scared of me, which is cool. It's not bad, but the old builders aren't so great. Wow, so this is how the old builders live. Totally epic, right? Sometimes I just like to stand here and... This is incredible. Such amazing use of scale and angles. Right? Knew you'd be impressed. I get to hang out here whenever I want. And thanks to you actually helping us keep on schedule, we have some extra time to enjoy the place. I'll go get Hadrian. Oh, and don't touch anything. Slab said don't touch anything. He never said don't look at everything. Psst, hey, Bat. Hey, Batsy. Oops. No portal, Atlas. A man forever voyaging by Soren, another one? Where do these keep coming from? I've never seen a quartz desk before. Hey, that's that Tim guy's armor. Welcome, Jesse. Fantastic to have you here. Just fantastic. Thanks for accepting my invitation. Well, it seems appropriate that you'd gravitate toward Tim's armor. What with everyone calling you the new Tim down there. Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. Give it to me straight. Why did you invite me up here, Hadrian? Why, so we could continue to discuss the terms of our deal? More terms? <laughs> you can look closer. Go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? After all, he's Tim. Doesn't that bug you? Aren't these supposed to be your games? And they are still my games. I love having a legend that can inspire my competitors. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? 
It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow, but I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get... messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. Tell me something, Hadrian. Do you even have a point when you start talking? Or you just hope to find one along the way? Because I'm getting really tired of listening to you blab. Whoa, wow, well, that's just kind of rude, champ. <laughs> Haven't you heard that patience is a virtue? See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I'm not buying it, Hadrian. Is Tim even real? I knew you were a smart one, bucko. Hmm. Of course he's not real. Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins. Ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play alone. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait, my treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mevia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. Had to bring back some things you might be interested in. <laughs> uh, Axel! Olivia! Hey, Jesse! Jesse! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here. Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. I'm gonna get you guys free, I promise. It's great to hear that you're not a prisoner, at least. Well, I kind of am. Different. Oh. I'm just glad we're all back together. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow. This is just... Wow. Such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. I saved that for last. What? Oh, yes. Your best friend. Reuben. Sup? I've heard all about him. Your best friend. Your partner in crime. Who, uh, who's that? Reuben, of course. No, he's not. Reuben's a pig. Uh, yeah, funny story. Name is Reuben, but yeah, not a pig. <sighs> so you used the Atlas to kidnap my friends and that other guy. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse, incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. But aren't your friends worth it? You're messing with the wrong guy. And his friends. Yeah, they're awesome. Just being supportive? I'm not messing with anyone. I'm just trying to maintain my games here. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? Do you even really think you can win these games? Wow, tough one. That's actually kind of a good deal. Uh, yeah, except the part where Jesse would be stuck here forever. Oh, yeah, no, I take that back. It's a terrible deal. No way, Hadrian. I don't make deals with cheaters. Fine. We'll play it your way. Which is to say, I will crush you. And you won't win anyway. Slab, get this garbage out of my office. Sure thing, boss. Come on, idiot. You're okay! What 
happened up there? Hadrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. <gasps> I didn't take the deal. Oh, I guess that was probably the right move. Probably? <laughs> what, you thought that deal sounded good? I don't know. It's a complex situation. I didn't take the deal because it was a no-win scenario and I don't believe in those. I know we can find another way. I just hope you know what you're doing. <sighs> Jesse was smart. Hadrian never would have kept that deal. Even if you did volunteer to throw the game, he'd just send you all to the mines anyway. Probably, while claiming that was the original deal. So who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. He seems like a big fan of the rules. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Huh. He loves rules, that's for sure. Always plays by him. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal, and he's an honorable man. Harper, what about all the people that are trapped here against their will? I can win the atlas, but I'm gonna need you to get them out. You can count on me, Jesse. I'll make sure everyone is out of the mines before the next game is over. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you could just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. Em, you are seriously damaging my flow by being such a downer. Either get on my side or get out of here. I'm just being realistic. If you really think you can get all the teams to not fight each other, then go right ahead. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. Tomorrow, if we work together, we can all win together. But Jesse, you're not on my team. See, my jumpsuit is yellow. That's just what the old builders want you to think. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. He'll just make up some new rule. Don't you want to go home, Em? I do. More than anything. But nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey! Tim did! Yeah! That's the only thing keeping me going in here. Oh, yeah. Because if it weren't for Tim, I probably would have given up a long time ago. Actually, Tim's not real. <gasps> That's... Uh, no way. Of course Tim's real. Look at the banners. Are you sure? Yeah, Hadrian told me. <gasps> I knew it. All of that stuff about him seems so implausible. So wait, Tim's made up. They just invented him. What a highly elaborate fabrication. Forget Tim. Real or not, the important thing is what we are all capable of doing tomorrow. And what we're going to do is beat the old builders at their game. The old builders already controlled everything else. Of course they control the games. Why should I even try anymore? Sitting in their stupid tower, pulling all the levers. I thought you were one of the toughest people in here, Em. What's the matter? Are you scared? Gasp! Is that what it is? <laughs> are you scared? What? No! I just don't want to keep getting hit by stupid gladiators with enchanted swords if I can't win anyway. Yeah, I mean, like, your plan to take down the old builders sounds cool and all, but, um, those gladiators are, like, super tough. <laughs> like, max-level scariness, okay? Boo! Oh, no, no, I mean, totally OP. Yeah, but so are we, you guys. Sure, their fists are huge and their weapons are really scary, but we've all got fists and stuff, too! <sighs> Where's Jesse going with this? If we combine all of our fists and stuff, we're gonna be like 10 times as tough as the gladiators. Oh, I get it now. Okay, now just bring it home, Jesse. 
You can do it! Doing awesome. Those old builders think they're the greatest thing since chiseled quartz, but we will show them that that is not true. Right now, Hadrian's up in that tower, plotting how he's going to beat us all. But what he doesn't know is that his plans are doomed from the start, because they are going down. Yeah! Not real? I can't believe it! Look, it was a nice speech, but strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. Strength comes from believing in yourself, Em. Sounds like a bunch of nonsense, Jesse. Sorry. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <sighs> Reaction definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of diehard Tim fans. It had to, or else we're in big trouble. Yeah, that last game is all or nothing. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. Ah. <sighs> about the rules or something. I'm trying to listen. Yeah, I should have guessed you're one of those people who listens to the rules. Don't worry, huh? They're just about to get to the important part. Bevia, for those unfamiliar with the walls, you want to walk us through how it's played? Sure thing, Hadrian. Teams start out separated in their own sections, divided by the high inner walls. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, build defenses, and craft in their section before... The walls come yeah. down. Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that gonna be a problem? The sections are drawn at random. Oh, you work for the worst people. Did you know that? Yeah, but that dental plan, though. See? Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Mevia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all! But let's not get ahead of ourselves, because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat... Oh. Gladiators! <laughs> that's right! So all competitors better get to gathering materials, because that clock is ticking! Tick-tock! Well, hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Oh, choices are funny. What do you mean, Hadrian? Nope, just dirt. Some choices Come on! Places. Others get you nothing but dirt and gravel in your section. Ah. I'm guessing that's the ah. eponymous oh, wall. It's true, it's true. Well, that's worse than dirt. At least they gave me a crafting table. Now, if only I actually had anything to craft with. Hey. <laughs> Seems like they're happy you didn't get anything. <laughs> I think they're making fun of you. But just my, you know, professional opinion. As a gladiator. Who's heard this a lot? Nah. Oh, you think? Well, yeah, I do actually. Rhetorical question. Oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mavia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come down. Uh. This should be interesting. Yeah. The 
predators are like wild ocelots, sizing each other up, unmoving, before they go in for the kill. Like the gladiator formerly known as Emily is preparing her attack. And Jesse, the newcomer, is just painfully unarmed and unprotected. Jesse. This could get ugly. Okay, do whatever it is you have to do. Whatever you say. Jesse isn't even trying to defend himself. I try believing in myself for once and take a chance. It appears Emily has offered Thank you, you made the right decision. The you could say you really inspired me. Oh, well, that's could, but don't. What is Em doing? Why is she doing that? I have no idea. Come on, over here. Yeah, why aren't you all killing each other? Tja, man, I can totally see why you'd be confused. We're not killing each other because we're done fighting, Slab. It's over. Uh-huh. So why do you still have your weapons out? Done fighting each other. Don't you see? None of us are the enemy. It's them. They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many perspectives. And it appears that the gladiators are being idiots right now. Idiots! What they should be doing! Hey, Adrian, shut your cake hole! Oh, imbeciles! Slab? Slab! What should we do? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sure that the slaughter will be commenced soon, right? You should be on our side. Join us. I don't know. Facemate finds that idea weird. Not going with them, Slab? In my life, I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's inconsiderate. But you, when I was mean to you, pushed you around and made you go to the tower with me, you got that I was just doing my job and came anyway so we could be on time. That was real considerate. I will join you, Tiny Jesse. I think it's time for us to finish this together! It appears all the competitors are headed towards the victory platform. As stated in our rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the games. It looks like they are going to do this together. Right behind you, fearless leader. A two slab. You'll pay for that. That won't happen. It can't happen. No! And they've done it! The competitors have all stepped onto the platform together, which, by the Builder Game Bylaws, means they are all <laughs> Which I'm sure my colleague means to say, we are going to find some way to disqualify them. No, we are not. They all win. Uh, no! Levia, Otto, with me. We're ending this. So help me, none of you will leave this place until you eliminate each other! Not happening. I don't know, Hadrian. I heard Mevia explaining the rules. She explicitly said that whoever steps onto the winner's platform would be declared the winner. And here I am. It's over. No, no, no. Jesse's got a point. This isn't up to you. We control the games. We decide their outcome. Mevia... Shut up, Otto! This runt needs to pay for ruining our fun! So you admit the games are rigged, then? <laughs> sure! Okay, sure, fine, whatever. Mevia? Jesse won these games fair and square. He's earned the Atlas. Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have. Jesse. With the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am proud to... Hey, uh, hello? What are you doing? Now, it's been fun, really. But I think it's 
It's about time we end this. Whoa, this is majorly bogus, dudes. Surrender the Redstone Heart now. Now. Because, uh, I will trap you here forever. If you want it, come and get it. Your wish is my command, buckaroo. Useless! Well, well. Just when you... M, come back! Now that you've lost your oversized friend, you really don't stand a chance. Run away, little Emily. I'm still with you, Jesse. Thank you. You're gonna need all the help you can get, Jesse. Time to take what is mine. I'll admit you're quick sport. But not quick enough for my axe! No! Oh, what the? Don't forget my axe, Hadrian! No! <laughs> <laughs> no! Slab! It was an honor to fight the gun. Slab! Gotta admit, kid, you've shown you got skill. But you're still no match. Let's see about that. I got this. Ah! Had enough, Hadrian? Wait, wait! You're right. This has gone too far. It was just supposed to be a game. You expect me to believe that? Come on, sport. Haven't you ever had anything get away from you before? I mean, can't you forgive me? <laughs> <sighs> this game is no! That's our game, sports fans! The Redstone Heart has been returned to its proper owners! <laughs> I... I lost. Hey, fancy meeting you here. You know, I've sent hundreds of competitors to these respawn pits. Never knew it hurt so much. Sorry, that's probably not helping your mood right now. It's over. I... Oh, I don't think so. It's us. Yeah. I'm so happy to see you guys. You said you believed in me, Jesse. Figured I'd return the favor and believe in everyone else. You know, because I'm awesome. As someone once told me, teamwork makes the dream work. So let's get to work. Let's take them down. But I lost my inventory when I respawned. How am I supposed to get the Atlas back without... Any weapons or armor or anything? Well, we may have made a little stop in Hadrian's inventory room and helped ourselves to a few things. Awesome! Here, buddy. Wow! Take this! Thanks. Hey, suspenders! Over here! Tim's armor. Belongs to you now. Time to kick some old builder butt! Now to pick a weapon to go with my sweet new armor. Ooh, yeah, nice choice. Sweet. Payback ah, time! Eliminate! Now what should we do with all those other competitors who betrayed us? Well, Mevia, spending eternity in the quartz mines doesn't seem like punishment enough. <laughs> I have something special in mind for them. Hadrian! Mevia! This game just went into overtime. Well, isn't that cute? You found Tim's armor. Time for you to be eliminated. <laughs> Please. Not gonna happen, chump. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy crushing you. No, no, it can't be! 
useless, man. Be a give up. <laughs> wow, her inventory was huge. Mavia, come on! What kind of rookie move is that? Ta-ta <laughs> for now, bucko. Hey, Hadrian! Huh? Over here! You mess with one member of the Order of the Stone. You mess with all Go, of Jesse! Us. I Time believe in you! Time to shut you up! You think this is going to help? You're deluded! Let's take him to the slab land. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm still workshopping that one. Shut up. Let's go. I will personally see to it that you and your friends will forever suffer. Shut up. Just shut up. All of you, shut up. I see you don't like having a live audience, Adrian. Come on! Jesse, remember Spleet. Got it. Now, Mevia. We have to get out of here. Come on! Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Hey! Guys! How's it going? <laughs> it's going not the best. And you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Face Meat wants to discuss his benefits plan. Oh, hang on. Hang on! Jesse, you did it! Again! Feels like I say that a lot. I couldn't have done anything without all of you. Well done, Jesse. An excellent job. Uh, thanks, Otto. You have truly shown my friends and I the error of our ways. I'm glad to put this whole messy business behind us. Correction, Otto. We all showed you the error of your way. Uh, yes, I suppose you're right. You all showed us. And you all deserve to go home. <laughs> you have barely defeated them. Seems only fair that you get to decide their fate, and with the Atlas, you can send them anywhere you want. Hmm. You know, there was this game that Olivia and I used to play back in our treehouse. Huh? Remember? We called it, Which Would You Rather Fight? when I yanked Pama's redstone heart right out. And the whole thing shut down. Man, you guys have had some crazy adventures. So many people trying to kill you. Goodbye, Jesse. Goodbye. Thank you. That all of them? Everyone that wants to go home anyhow. Except you folks, that is. I can't believe how many competitors actually want to stay and keep playing the games. Thanks to you, my intrepid new friend, I can actually work on making them fun again. Very exciting. It'll be more challenging just by myself, but a good challenge. You promise they'll stay fun this time, right? Oh, yes. I don't intend to let the games get corrupted like they did before. And I'm gonna help, too. You taught me a lot about fairness, Jesse. And I'd like to use that new knowledge for something good. Oh, and speaking of fairness, I think this is yours. Oh, man. There was some good stuff in there. I was really moved. Awesome. Huh. I guess he wasn't so immovable after all. Well, Em, how about you? You said you wanted to go home, right? Yes, I just can't decide if it's what I want. You get to leave and go on more adventures. Do I really want to go back to farming? I mean, it has been ages since I've seen it. Sounds like Otto's gonna be, you know, like restarting the games. You could stick around and help with that. Jesse, that's an awesome idea! We can actually make them fun! M maybe I can be head gladiator. Yeah. Thanks, Jesse. 
I needed that. Hey, Ivor. Oh, hello. What you doing? I was just observing Harper, all by herself over there. She seems lonely. Come on. Hey, Harper. Oh, hey, Jesse, Ivor. I was just watching folks head on home. Things really worked out, huh? Well, I guess this is goodbye. I'm gonna head on back to Crown Mesa and see how the Post Palma construction is going. Just hope they'll take me back. It's not my real home, but it's the closest thing I've had for... Don't worry. I'm sure they'll come around. I sure hope you're right. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Getting over the I was a bad guy hump can be awkward, but hopefully soon they'll invite you right back into their lives. Right, Jesse? You are a strange, strange man, Ivor. But you know something? You're okay. Take care of each other, all right? And I'll see you around. Bye, Harper. Yes, goodbye. Come on. You're amazing. So, how do we get home now? Well, the Atlas belongs to Jesse now. The deal's a deal and all that. Sweet. Uh, how does it work? Now you just say where you want to go, and the Atlas will show you the way. Why don't you just go ahead and open it? Okay, Book. Take us home. Whoa! Spectacular! Incredible! Nice! There it is. Home. Figure it's about time we get heading on home, huh? That sounds awesome. Yeah! Home, here we come. Jesse, look! Can you believe it? We made it! We're home! After all that time, all those portals, we're home! Yeah, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. You're the best team anyone could ever ask for. Aw, oh, that's... lovely. Ah, oh, you big sap. I'm just so glad we're all back together. That atlas is so cool. I'm glad Otto let you keep it. Fabulous, yes! And that's not all we got. Seriously? What else did you get? Yeah, show him, Jesse. The crown of the Eversource. The magical source of all of Sky City's precious materials. Whoa, wicked! Palma's Redstone Heart. I know that Palma was evil and everything, but I still kind of wish I could have seen it. The Portal Atlas. I could have lost all the rest so long as we got to keep that. Ha! Huh. I wonder what Soren would have thought of it. So much power contained within such a tiny Whoa. object. Easy there, Ivor. <clears throat> Sorry. The mask of Cassie Rose, a.k.a. the White Pumpkin. Oh, man. That's even creepier looking than I imagined. The Enchanted Flint and Steel. The one that started the whole thing. Yeah, none of these other adventures could have happened if it weren't for this. I can't believe you got to do all those incredible things. Makes sense, though. You were gone a long time. Wait till we show you all the improvements we've been making to town. Um, Jesse? 
What's up, Lucas? So, I've been writing stuff in here, you know? And, well, it's kind of become like a legitimate book. But there's just one problem. I still need to put what happened to you. You've, well, you've been the hero of this whole story. Just say, and he couldn't have done it without his friends. You know something? I really like that. There, done. Well, tell the next one, anyway. I was thinking that maybe we could put it in here with the other treasures. I know it's not as cool as, like, a portal atlas. That's a great idea, Lucas. It's perfect. Hang on. What is it? Wasn't that where the portal atlas was a minute ago? Yeah, that was definitely where you put it. Guys, Flint and Steel are missing, too. And where's Ivor? <laughs> he must be headed for the portal network. Is that bad? What should we do? I mean, I guess he mostly knows what he's doing. That's all right. He went on just as epic a journey as the rest of us. If he wants to dive right back into the portal network, well, I think he's earned it by this point. So you think we should just let him go? Yeah, I do. Come on, guys. Let's go home.